Hello everyone! Here's an interesting idea. Today we're going to see the value of all my stupid ideas. Because after 146 years of playtime, I've accumulated quite a lot of stuff all over the map. Basically, if you can think of an area, I probably have some clutter there. So I'm basically going to run around, collect all the stuff I have, and sell it. I want to see the value of all the stuff that is spread all over the world. Almost 150 years now, think about that. Just a quick look at my backpack is evidence of this. I have 4,000 slime balls, 1,000 bombs, 1,000 mermaid pendants, 1,000 prismatic shards, 1,000 bouquets, I sorted other junk from who knows where. And technically this stuff was part of my prior ideas, so it's going to get sold too. I know I do spawn this stuff into existence and just sell it on occasion, but we're starting with that stuff. I'm not sure if these are even sellable. Nope, those are not, so those are just going to get destroyed. I'm also cleaning up the farm while doing this in case you're wondering. And it's going to be a lot of trial and error of what we can or cannot sell. Stone floors we can sell. Lamp posts we cannot, so these are just going to get deleted. I'm pretty sure someone else added these to my farm anyway. Are rare crows sellable? We'll find out. Nope, still these are stone floors. They're probably not worth much. What about a mayonnaise maker? Nothing. Unfortunately, I can't get a refund for things like gold clocks, so that's just going to hang out there for 10 million gold. Torches are sellable though. Yay, we're making money. I'm pretty sure iridium sprinklers are worth money and I've definitely laid a lot of these out all over the farm and probably all over the world. Yep, they're definitely sellable. The other problem is I can't really use my bombs a lot to do this because the bombs tend to destroy stuff rather than knock them up so I can take them off the ground. As much as I like knocking things up, there's a proper way to do this. Now this was a legitimately spawned rare capsule. One of the very few ever in existence in anyone's game of Stardew Valley. And I don't think we can sell it, but we're going to remove it anyway, because I got to clean up this farm. And it's unsellable. I could use it as a submarine for the children, though. I'll go put them in the ocean later today. Uh, fence posts, I believe, are sellable, so we'll sell these. We'll sell the flooring that's all around this area. You know what? This really is just too slow. Let's try the bomb approach. I'm pretty sure it'll be all right. I'll use little bombs just in case to, you know, minimize the damage. Hopefully stuff just gets knocked up and not outright destroyed like that. Okay, well we just lost a bit of money there, but that's okay. It's all part of my fun ideas. Stuff like that happens about 50% of the time. I completely ruin everything. I would say that other people's possessions are also part of my ideas because I brought them into the game. I'm not sure their furniture is sellable, but I'm going to steal it anyway because that just sounds like a lot of fun. I don't know why they have such childish furniture anyway. Oh, I almost forgot this. The big TV. And none of their furniture is sellable. All the floor tiles are though. I'm pretty sure I can bomb these up. If they're not damaged in any way, these should just get knocked up. Yeah, there we go. All right, that's going to save me a lot of time in itself. Uh, now, as for the neighbor's furniture, try again. Next time, pick something I approve of. And I do have these, the Statue of Perfection, Statue of Endless Fortune, and the Wicked Statue. I don't think I can sell these, and I can't even move that one. I think this one's glitched out again. Oh, it might pop up. Is it going to do it? Uh, this one would be bugged into the game. All right, well, that's a permanent feature on my farm now, so that's a lot of fun. Kind of can't help but wonder what happens if a meteor were to hit that. And in the mushroom cave, no doubt, it is full of these things. I'm just going to collect these items. I'm not going to actually knock them up because I just want to sell what they have. They're not worth anything themselves, so I just got to sell their items. I do also have the pig farm over here full of truffles, and those are technically part of an idea, so I'm going to sell those too. And checking in the coop, there may or may not be a dinosaur egg in here. So I'm going to go ahead and scoop up one or two of these, see what these are worth. All right, let's unload at the bin, and then we're going to go chase some meteorites around, because I couldn't help but notice there's a lot of those in the field, because after so much time, a lot just happened to spawn. So let's see if we can keep track. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Well, there it was, eleven meteorites. I probably would have had more. I think I've smashed one or two along the way, but it's still pretty impressive. 11 meteorites on the farm, 146 years. Obviously we get the value of that stuff, 66 iridium. These bee houses, well they're gonna have to go. Let me collect all the honey I can first. I'm not sure if I'll end up collecting it should I knock them off the ground. And there's a sprinkler in the middle of them, watering them all for some reason. Also not sure if these are sellable, but I'm gonna try anyway, just because I have to know. I'm actually running out of time in the day, it's getting dark. We're going to blow up everything here. What if the owl statue? Nope. It just gets blown up by bombs. Okay, good to know. If you ever actually have one of those spawn, don't put bombs near them. You'll blow it up and then you'll cry. I will, however, take all that stuff. The fruit trees don't matter anymore. I never loved them anyway. Uh, slimes are doing well. Just a few remaining truffles. I'm going to hit the greenhouse and that's going to be it for this day. I'm going to move on to tomorrow. 
and then we're going to go explore some of the areas that aren't on the farm. My greenhouse obviously is full of ancient fruit like it always is. Even on a cheaty file, it just makes sense. I'd ask someone to make me a mod for selling my children, but let's face it, they're not worth anything at all. Kenny, if you want to go ahead and install some lights at any point, feel free. Money for the first day of our really stupid idea? Uh, I don't even know how much that is. It's a whole bunch. Now a lot of that money had come from simply all these slime eggs I summoned into existence in the last video. There's 5 million, 2.5 million, almost 2 million, and I can't get these numbers to add up. Undermining, the prismatic shards are far and away the most valuable, 2,563,000, 2 million. Now if I look under this, these equal roughly 9 million I believe. So 9 million plus 2 million is 11 million. Uh, there's some other miscellaneous items, 12 million after that. Nothing that's worth a huge amount of money. So we're looking at about 12 million. Obviously going to be a little bit more, but then I have a floating number of what looks like to be 29 million. And it's not 29 million. So I don't know how much this is worth. I guess that could be 1, 12 million, 931,000. So we're going with that, 13 million so far. And if you don't agree, file that away with someone who cares. Let's see if these are worth anything. Also, it's raining today, so we're going to do this tomorrow. All right, horse, let's go towards the train station and see what we have going on up there. The train station still has all my tappers and trees, so I'm going to lay down a whole bunch of bombs. I'm going to use bigger bombs and just collect all this stuff because this stuff's all worth a little bit of value. There were 56 tappers and a whole bunch of trees and wood. That's what we're looking at. I guess the tappers did get destroyed in that, but I'm pretty sure I can't sell them anyway. 56 maple syrups, one pine tar. It looks as though the quarry is actually back to its normal self. I'm just going to work my way in there a little bit in case there's something in there. It wasn't that long ago that I did bee houses or something here. And it looks like they're all gone. Okay, that's fine. That's less work for me. No more quarry. Trees like this obviously gotta go. So that definitely also means these trees that were used to block the mighty Pam. Which didn't actually work. She's able to navigate around them. Speaking of which, there should be some slimes in each and every one of these houses. Well, we'll go ahead and collect their inside parts and sell those for money too. The incubators are going to stay there though because I'm already getting lazy. Speak of lazy, looks like a good day to play catch, huh? Go long. Just kidding. I'm already long, Alex. Uh, George has a few slimes going on here. We'll go ahead and take those out of his way. The three original incubators are still there. That's because an NPC has to walk through them to destroy them. Get it? And if I remember correctly, there were a whole bunch of slimes in the saloon. And there are. No one tends to walk through those areas. I think there might have been one there. There's probably Shane. He likes his corners. And a few slimes up in the top. Well, there we go. There's a few more ingredients. Mayor Lewis's house has no more incubators in it because he likes to use all the available real estate for his exercises. And slimes in the library just to make it a little more exciting. There was only two of them, though. And that's fine. Clint has three slimes. And that confirms my theory. He doesn't actually use his forge or anvil. He just stands behind the counter all day and pretends to work. Only one remaining in this house. They're probably trying to keep it as a pet. There are also the gold Lewises all over town. I don't think I can sell these. But I'm going to take one anyway just in case I can. Uh, if I can that's going to be a problem. Because they are all over the world. I don't even know where they all are. In theory, all this clutter, all the debris that sprouted up after 150 years is part of an idea too, so I guess I'm actually going to have to gather all this. Because this is all stuff that wouldn't be here if I didn't play for so damn long. And it's actually going to be getting dark again really soon because these ideas are taking that long. I'm going to have to run back to my farm pretty quick anyway, dump everything in the bin, because my backpack's getting pretty full. Before I do that, I'm going to check the beach real quick. And I do mean real quick because I'm on speed 10. So far there's a strange capsule and nothing actually sitting on the ground so far or in the water. I'm kind of surprised. Usually I have something floating around nearby. Nope, just a bunch of forageables. All right. So collections for the day. Everything you see here, even a purple slime egg. One of the slimes must have dropped that. That's quite rare. Everything that can be sold will be sold. And we're pretty much going to call it a night right here because it's getting dark and I don't want to play in the dark. The value for the first day was 13 million. The value for this day is going to be far less. Total of 33,000 gold, much, much less. 5,000 for that single slime egg, that's probably the single most valuable item. The wood, 3,000. Nothing else of note. Maple syrup, 14. I just realized that I have a chest in my house. What's in here? All sorts of stuff. Anything sellable is going to be sold. Uh, that's sellable. I don't think any of that stuff is. That's all tools that I have a million of for some reason. Whoops, I just sold the bombs. Well, the bombs are part of this idea too, so hey, why not? I think I've got mostly everywhere cleared already. There's not too many other areas that I probably made my presence known in. 
Pierre's store probably has some slimes in it. There's probably a few more sorted slimes in some of the houses I didn't bother to look in. I'm gonna check the Witcher's Swamp real quick. Every once in a while, something amusing happens up that way. Though to be honest, I think I keep this place pretty clean these days because of the sacred children murder shrine. Poor little Krobus only has three incubators and one strange capsule, which is probably where he came from in the first place. But if I'm not mistaken, the desert is full of wonders. Yes, I do recall now, the desert isn't so much a desert anymore as it is an oasis. Full of oak trees with tappers on them. Maple trees with tappers on them. It's basically Canada now. So I'm going to try and harvest all these if I can. And when I get impatient, I'm just going to start blowing everything up. The desert is all cleared out. Left with mostly a whole bunch of wood. Didn't harvest a lot of the maple syrups because I was just way too lazy. They're not going to be a big difference in the value. And I'm not going to sell these mega bombs because they're just going to manipulate the price way too much. Now I'm going to sit here and take a quiet moment to think about any areas I might have actually missed. The first thing that comes to mind is actually my basement, which is surprisingly empty for once. There is actually one uh, planting pot thing in the corner, not going to worry about that. Alright, after thinking about it, I don't think there's anywhere else I could really go. I'm pretty sure I've cleaned up everything. This file didn't have as much clutter as I thought overall in the end. Which was actually kind of nice, because then this took a lot less time than I thought it was going to. 74,000, probably mostly in my mega bombs that I sold. But that's roughly what a stack of mega bombs is worth, in case you're ever wondering. I do go through many stacks of these all the time. The wood doesn't really add up to much. You can get the perk to make it worth more. In fact, I probably have it on this file, so that's all it's worth. 3,000 for a whole stack. Not worth it to be a lumberjack in Stardew Valley. Day 19 of Spring, Year 146. I should have skipped this ad to Year 150. But I was just really curious to see what the value of my ideas actually was. All the clutter I've accumulated over the many, many years, not that much. 13 million, 14 million, something like that. Even that's a bit debatable because a lot of that was just stuff I spawned in for my ideas. But there's no real way to get an estimate on how much these are worth because every time I do a new idea, I basically erase the old one unless it's in a new area. But anyways, my farm is much cleaner now. I'll simply probably spend another day off video cleaning it up entirely for my next fun idea. So I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching.